Hello everyone. Welcome to Tech Shanbat. In this session, we will discuss about another uh, example for grab command, uh, where we will see like how we can search for a particular keyword by ignoring the case sensitivity. Okay. So this thing we are going to discuss in this session. So how we are going to proceed with it? First of all, I'll tell you few uh, like uh, first of all, I'll show you the uh, file. Uh, with the test data uh, that we are going to use for this demo and once it is clear then uh, I'll show you some of the commands uh, by running it on the Q shell with different output and scenarios and once we are comfortable with the Q shell related thing then we will move to the CL program and we'll see how we can uh, utilize the C uh, Q shell command in CLLE program okay so let's uh, start with the session so first thing is uh, the file which we are going to use for this demo so for that i'm just hitting one command work lnk which is the work link then simply hit enter now if i do page down here you will find one file which is present at my home directory this is slash home slash and with my present working directory and the file is abc.txt now if i take option 5 here you will find that it contains some data right test data so here you can see we have first line written as demo from file 1 line 2 then demo from file 1 line 4 demo from uh, file 1 line 6 likewise it has also three record more right why but at the moment if i try to run the grab command which we have learned so far then in that case what will happen it will look for the specific keyword and it will also match the case sensitivity okay that means let's say if I'm using the grab command like this I'm just writing it here grab uh, for demo in abc.txt so what it will do it will look for this demo exact match okay if we are searching for small demo then it will not go and pick this one it will not go and pick this one okay it will pick only these two record so this is what we have learned so far right but let's say there is a requirement where we want to print all these four line why because somehow they are containing the demo word right whether it is diff uh, whether it is even like no doubtedly it has different case but word meaning is same right we are talking about demo and it should print those things right so in this case we will how we can fetch the data this thing we are going to discuss and we are going to use this data in order to perform some uh, scenarios okay so let's uh, move to the QSH and I'm just copying this part so that I can use it okay fine so now what we will do uh, I'll uh, write here QSH what it will do it will start the Q shell command then simply hit enter and here if if I uh, firstly I'll show you the existing thing like how it is working right now without uh, that uh, specific thing which we are going to add today so if so far we have learned this thing right grab then a space then your search argument which is demo and then the file path so my file path is slash home slash with abc.txt so if i hit enter here you will find that yes it prints only two lines demo from file one line two demo from file one line four okay so this is how it uh, work it is working right now but as I told you that we are looking we are interested in fetching all the word all the line that contains the uh, uh, that contains the word demo irrespective of their case so in that case what we will do I'll show you the new command which is grab space then you can simply use one thing hyphen I so what hyphen I will do it will ignore the case sensitivity it will ignore the case and then fetch the uh, and then look for this uh, keyword demo where in slash home slash shermit then slash abc dot txt now if i hit enter here it will print the list of uh, all the lines that contains the word demo and you can see this time it is showing four records right so this is how we can simply uh, fetch the list of all the line that contains the uh, search argument irrespective of their case sensitivity okay one more thing like uh, if you are looking for the line number as well so in that case you can simply add that hyphen n in that 
okay this thing we have already discussed so you can explore more things like this like if i made it as hyphen i n and if i hit enter now you can see it is also printing the line number because this thing we have already discussed right so you can merge uh, more than two things together in order to fetch uh, the result as per your requirement so it is up to you like how you are going to utilize it but the main thing is that when you want to ignore the case in that case you can utilize the hyphen i the moment when you add this hyphen i it will look for all the words irrespective of their case so words should be matched the letters should be matched doesn't matter whether it is a upper case lower case or mixed case okay so in this case like right now we have only four record but it will also look for let's say if someone has written like this demo or de small mo or mo is in capital de mo so whatever your case is it will look and ignore firstly it ignores the case and then if it is demo the word is demo then it will pick that word okay now there might be one question like uh, what will happen if we try to search that particular thing which is not even present in the file so yeah it will not give anything let me show you if i make it as ddmo which is not in my any of uh, line and it is not present in my file so if i hit enter here you will see it is printing nothing why because this time we don't have anything present in the file with the keyword ddmo so this is the generic nature of this command like if it doesn't find anything relevant to that uh, relevant to your keyword then it simply leaves the uh, file and it simply returns nothing okay apart from this one more thing i would like to show like uh, somewhere you have uh, see like uh, someone some are directly using the file name like this so if i remove this path still it will give me the same thing why okay let me change it to correct word demo yeah so you can see it is printing with the same result why even though we have not provided the path because it is currently looking at my present working directory and picking the file from that only okay so how would you check whether uh, what is your present working directory so you can simply write pwd and then hit enter you can see this is my present working directory slash home slash image so by default it look uh, for this abc.txt into this location and this is what we are specifying here right so if you are picking your file from the home directory or a present working directory then maybe you can skip this thing but still i would recommend you to go and uh, use the complete path because that would help you in your uh, learning as well like if you know the exact thing like uh, from which location it is coming from then it would be easier for you so I recommend you to put the complete part whenever you are utilizing it in CLLE program or maybe on the QShell screen. Okay, so this is all about uh, the command. Uh, in order to ignore the case sensitivity, you can simply use hyphen R I. Now it is clear here, but how we can utilize this command inside CLLE program? So for that, you can simply jump to my program. Let me show you that it. So my program name is run qsh hash so this program is mainly uh, to search keyword by ignoring the case so here first of all we need one variable so to declare the variable just simply write dcl then take a four provide variable name type storage and length okay so if you don't know about these basic things then i request you to go and check out the previous session because there we have already discussed this thing okay now if i hit enter here you will find that yes this variable has been declared after that we will use chg where so just simply write chg where take a four provide your variable name and the command so here i'm ignoring the path but if you are creating it then i request you to put the path as well because it will help you to learn the things in a proper way okay I, i'm just creating it for uh, the sample purpose that's why i have not added it and but i have shown you like uh, how we can use it on qshell screen so same thing you can do here as well you can write slash home slash m and your file name okay so we have added the string to the command now we are good and post that we can directly use strqsh then take a four and here you can provide the variable uh, command name which is ampersand command uh, the variable name which holds the command and then we are good so post that you can simply compile it and see the output so let me compile it and call this you can see it prints the four lines okay so this is how it works 
i hope it is clear to all of you and in the next session we will discuss few more things so thank you for watching tech shermi